But man, foam roll. Don't be an asshole jock idiot who spends decades lifting weights and then doesn't have any range of motion, is very stiff and walks around like an idiot, beta male. Don't be one of those people. Don't be one of those people that's gonna put out your back or injure some part of your body because you are not stretched out and haven't activated all the muscles that you need to activate before you start strengthening those muscles. I take my time activating and stretching before I start working out. You know why? Because when I'm 80, I want to have great sex and I don't want to take testosterone injections. When I'm 80, I want to be lifting heavy weight and I want to look fucking good and I want to look like I'm 50. And so the exercises that I tell you are important for sustainability. When you age and become older and older, I want you to still exercise and look fucking good. Okay, the next truth is about your posture and about how much space you're taking. One thing that Stanford researchers actually found out is when you wear a blazer or when you wear something that makes your shoulders wide, that will boost your testosterone. We have also found that when you are in a power pose, when you have your arms spread about like that, you will get a very quick rise peak in testosterone levels why because you are taking up more room this boosts testosterone right before you go in an interview a amazing thing to do is the power pose and take up a lot of room because you will get that quick peak in testosterone quick peak in confidence and then you will most likely do much better in your interview because now you're ready you have that confidence you have that self-love right before you go in. So these are things that you need to really, really pay attention to. Posture, spine health. When you stretch out using a foam roller, your spine will become straighter. You will have this amazing posture. So if you have confidence issues, if you have issues with dealing with your parents, your boss, girls, your relatives, your friends, bullies, having great posture the way you carry yourself, the way you look masculine has a lot to do with your attractiveness. Trust me on this, man. I cannot say, I cannot say enough about this. Posture is super, super important and that is the truth. And look, man, all this stuff I'm telling you about fitness and exercise, I learned all of this the hard way. When I was a kid, my butt was really soft. I did not have great glutes. To the extent that my mom would like make fun of me, like she would touch my butt a little bit and she'd be like, oh, it's so soft, it's so soft. Why is your butt so soft? And my brother's butt was really hard and firm. So I was super jealous of all this. Like I was really angry. It's like, why the fuck is my butt so soft? I hate this. My grandmother would ask my mom that, hey, look, when Farhan walks, why doesn't his butt like make a nice shape in his pants? You'll notice that when a girl walks by, you look at her ass and she makes this amazing form in her booty. And especially if she's wearing yoga pants. Oh my God, it looks so good. Actually, Melanie, uh, probably the second I saw her in her gym pants back in New York. I still remember that one second I saw her and I was like, holy shit, I gotta have her. My God, she looks, my God, her booty looks good. Now, girls have this about guys too. My grandmother and my mom, they're not even from the West. They're from Pakistan and India. They notice this. I've asked my girlfriends in the past, what they liked about me in the last two, three years, I've asked them, my booty. Girls notice, guys, booties. Don't believe what bullshit society has conditioned you to believe that booties don't matter in guys. Fuck that shit. Get a great booty. Get an amazing ass. When you walk, 
your pants need to make this nice little line like mine do. And I'm going to teach you how to get there. So when you walk by and a girl sees you walk by like that, I want her to be impressed and want to fuck you. 